Magna Guard. We had it at 100 bucks at the start of the year. It's at 75 now. Clone Commander Cody, 180 bucks. He's still in that range. He's gone down a little bit. I'd say 160. Unpunched, $800. Jesus, dude. People are paying $800 for an unpunched Clone Commander Cody. Yoda, VC20, we had him at 100 bucks. He's gone down to 65. And I think. Some of that might be that Hasbro is re-releasing that figure, so people are not excited to purchase that anymore. There's not a rush to get it. Mm-hmm. They're waiting to see what happens with the what would ha- with what Hasbro releases. They haven't shown a card back yet. They just kind of said we're, it's coming. There was a Canadian version, so the VC20 was a Revenge of the Sith Yoda. There is a Canadian version. I think it says Return of the Jedi with an Empire Strikes Back. If I remember this right. Empire Strikes Back imagery on it. It's 500 bucks. <laughs> it's one of those variants that I was kind of talking about. Uh, Kit Fisto, I just mentioned that. Zam Wessel, VC30, was 80 bucks. She's gone down to 50. She's 100 bucks unpunched. Jesus. Obi Wan, VC31, 75. He's selling at 35. And so Hasbro said we're re- re- releasing this figure. That's gone down a little bit pre-announcement a couple of weeks ago. He was still selling at 70 bucks. So there was a crash in that figure. So when Hasbro does re-release these figures to get a broader audience and not have to pay an arm and a leg to get him, it does crash the market a little bit and makes these less exciting, I guess, to collect. VC35 Mace Window, who was once 200 bucks. We, um, at the start of the year, had him at 120. He's selling for 70. He's another figure that they're re-releasing. Jesus. VC-37, the Super Battle Droid, which was sitting at five below carts at the front of the store at one point, 80 bucks. He's now selling for 90. <laughs> Sorry, at five below. He wasn't 80 bucks. 80 bucks is what we right. had at the start right, of the year. Right. I just want to clarify yeah. that. Jesus, some of that, you, you just want to go through five below and pick up a bunch of crap. Go back in time. But if you're going to go back in time to get these figures, I'd go all the way back to the 70s and get the original <laughs> you, ones. Well, you know what would happen is you'd pick up that figure that, some little kid was going to have and you, you what would happen okay hope this is this is how time travel works you would pick up that figure but it would be the figure that dave filoni was going to pick up that inspired him to write the mandalorian and then we want to have the mandalorian because you picked up a figure in the 70s that's one interpretation of time travel the other interpretation is that anything that's happened or will happen has already happened so if okay. you go back and pick that figure you just pick that figure and to bring it forward there was no other kid that was ever supposed to get that figure. Hmm. So which version so, of the time travel do you want to follow? I don't know. I guess it depends on whichever one suits my needs at the time. Listen to the Smuggler's Galaxy podcast every Tuesday, wherever you download your podcast. This is the way.